And uh, we're live now. Um, thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in today uh, in the early morning. I have with me Nje Nor Azmi Matsai, the CEO of SME Corp. You know, it's uh, incredible that uh, we were actually having this uh, honor to be able to to be on board this morning to actually talk to us, um, talk to uh, on behalf of SME Corp. Uh, how? FMB and e-commerce business can actually tap into the economy stimulus package 2020 uh, to continue to survive and grow stronger uh, during uh, the period of post MCO. So, uh, Nche Azmi, uh, would you like to say hi to everyone and uh, do a quick introduction for yourself? Hi, uh, morning to everyone. Yes, uh, uh, my name is uh, Azmi. Uh, I'm from uh, SME Corp. Uh, yes, we are the uh, central coordinating agency for SMEs in the country and uh, we look after SMEs, we get the data about SMEs and we give back to the government on SME development uh, activities or uh, how to uh, develop SMEs in the country. So uh, that's about it and we uh, we have programs, you know, apart from developing SMEs, we also have programs to develop SMEs and uh, we are in a way, bridging between the the government and also uh, the SMEs uh, in the country. Yes. That's and I, I I saw your profile. You you are actually also like an entrepreneur before uh, joining uh, SME Corp. Started several business and startups uh, while going into corporates. Yeah. Yes. Uh, correct. Um, I have my own business, uh, consultancy business, and then I was. Uh, I uh, so start up few uh, companies, uh, technology-based companies. Yeah, because uh, I, in a way, uh, I like technology. Uh, I used to hunt for good technology and then uh, uh, do development of uh, that particular technology. Uh, I believe the capability of our uh, technologies uh, in the country, uh, and we do have technology that's good. Uh, uh, that uh, thing has global potentials. So uh, that what I've been doing uh, over the past 15 years uh, in terms of uh, consulting and also uh, development of uh, technology. Uh, I also, uh, the, I mean, before uh, coming into SME Corp, uh, being the appointed as the advisor to several government agencies and also uh, research institutions when it comes to bringing technology into the market. And uh, apart from that, I also uh, do a small investment into FMB as well. Uh, do understand the issues nice. in FMB. Yeah, uh, but uh, I don't have that uh, business anymore. Anymore, but uh, but I do understand how FMB will be. Yeah. Okay. Great, great. And then then we are definitely Dawson this morning because I think. <clears throat> this is some of the things that a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, SME businesses out there, they are really, really uh, care about. The biggest question that they always ask is, what's next for me? How do I continue to survive in this situation? Because it's, you know, like, like what a lot of uh, even people like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett has been describing this thing as one of the largest pandemic um in 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 the century right so um before we get started uh wanted to just kind of like get some statistics right uh would you be able to share with us how many smes right now msmes right now we're looking at uh in across malaysia based on the data that you have okay uh we have about 1 million smes in the country uh that's 98.5% of the total business establishment. Uh, and these SMEs, we can divide them into uh, micro, small, and also medium. And majority of them, more than 70%, uh, uh, they are uh, SMEs that uh, uh, in the micro segment. Uh, and <clears throat> micro means SME is that uh, the revenue uh, less than uh, 300,000 annually uh, and uh, they are not more than three, uh, 5%, uh, 5, 5 and below. Uh, that's micro. Then uh, when it comes to 
defining the limit of uh, SMEs. Uh, we have a limit uh, either it's in manufacturing or it is in uh, uh, in the area of uh, uh, services. Uh, if it's services, any business that registered 20 million and below or staff 75% uh, and below, we consider that SMEs. If it's above than uh, 20 million or above than 75 employees, then we, we, we cannot define that SMEs. If it's in manufacturing, uh, uh, slightly higher uh, uh, income or revenue annually about uh, 50, uh, 50 million maximum. Uh, and when it comes to staff, about 200 staff and below. Uh, so, so this is the criteria uh, when we're looking at uh, whether that particular business or establishment is whether they are under us or not. Apart from that criteria, the business must be registered with SSM and the business must, uh, not, must not link to any public listed company. So there's no mother uh, 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 holding companies that come from public listed or uh, the, the uh, must not link to any government linked companies as well. Then uh, another conditions uh, uh, is uh, whether they are uh, connected to financial services. If it's financial services, uh, it's not under as in COP, it goes to under Benegara. Uh, if it's, uh, we're also looking at if it's uh, uh, upstream uh, agriculture. Uh, we're also looking at if it's upstream agriculture, uh, that would fall under MOA. Uh, so, so that's the, the boundaries that we're looking at when it comes to SMEs uh, that, that fall within the responsibility of uh, SME Corp. Yeah. So um, from what you say, it essentially means that it is really like almost all uh, businesses in Malaysia kind of like falls under the purview of SME Corps, right? Yes, correct. So the, the, the question is, what, what do you see, you know, in terms of the trends before the MCO and right now during the MCO in terms of the SME's behavior right now? How are they coping? Okay. Um, there are big, uh, uh, I would say there are big difference. Uh, uh, okay. Before MCO, uh, I think uh, we're just about to recover from slowdown. And uh, and when we did a survey uh, uh, before the uh, before MCO, we noticed that the feedback that it's going to be a better year for uh, 2020. And uh, that's before the before I would say before COVID start to uh, spread. Like right so before we, the new year, right? Yes. So we have confidence in the economy. We know that we're going to do good this year. Uh, then probably we have no uh, no uh, to impose an MCO. So uh, we are dealing with one is uh, in a way that we are at war, but we don't know. I mean, we we didn't see the enemy. So the right. enemy is the 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 virus itself. Uh, but uh, and we are uh, looking at. Uh, are we looking at? Uh, are we looking at to address that? Uh, there are two issues here. One is to assess the health uh, uh, health issues. Uh, health issues means uh, to curb the the spread of uh, uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, we are also facing uh, economic issues because when we do MCO, uh, business stop, and uh, we cannot have this uh, uh, very long. And we have to make sure that uh, we are able to help or to contain the uh, the spread of COVID nineteen as fast as possible. Uh, and 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 uh, the longer the longer we stay in the battle with COVID nineteen to impact the economy, our economy, uh, outlook of the uh, economy itself uh, this year. So uh, that's, uh, uh, that's the scenario here. We are at war, uh, but at the same time, we have to balance between uh, 
uh, between uh, health issues and also economic issues. And uh, the priority now is to uh, win the war uh, against COVID. And, and, uh, and we hope this will not take long. So, uh, and, and everybody is aware, and even the government is aware, the longer it is going to, uh, would not be good to our economy. Uh, and uh, then we are facing here scenario during COVID, uh, MCO during COVID, and also post MCO, uh, uh, but still have to uh, be cautious about COVID. Uh, so Correct. during MCO, we have uh, this uh, restrictions uh, issues on, on business uh, where we have to uh, close our business and then, uh, I mean, not close the business, uh, we have to, the premise, uh, because majority of our SMEs, I would say about 70%, uh, they rely on big, uh, physical business. I mean, so outlets, uh, uh, they, they rely on that, our, our SMEs. So when uh, non-essential business have to be closed, so definitely SMEs, the one that affected because they rely on, on, on premise itself. So right. that is one. No income. Uh, we are in a scenario where uh, uh, rental must be paid, uh, salary uh, must be paid, uh, utilities must be paid, all other obligations, commitments that need to be delivered. So this is where uh, uh, the government looking at how to assist them to help that's where uh, we have uh, the package rangsangan economy the first one and then we have uh, package prihatin uh, yes. and and, uh, and like in the news people we talking about uh, there be new new one coming so so we'll see uh, so uh, uh, package package uh, design or uh, uh, prepared by the government after receiving multiple uh, feedback from various channels, uh, associations, uh, uh, government agencies, and also uh, the uh, uh, individuals that, that have the, uh, uh, the uh, insight uh, into the scenario. Uh, so um, all this, uh, uh, I would say, on the way, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's ongoing, progressing, and, and uh, we're looking at two things. One, how to address uh, during MCO, uh, how to help SMEs during SM, uh, MCO, and the other one is post-MCO, how to bring back the economy uh, after MCO, but still uh, be cautious about COVID-19. And we don't want to be trapped uh, preparing a plan under the uh, restrictions or under the uh, mindset of MCO. Because sometimes uh, if, uh, I mean, when you in looking parameters to make policy or to make uh, programs uh, uh, for SMEs uh, in, uh, uh, during MCO or post MCO, it will not be, uh, I mean, wise to do that. So uh, all that things being taken uh, taken considerations. So uh, that's uh, that's the uh, scenario. So post MCO, as we understand, most of our SMEs, uh, they uh, or our clients, uh, client to SMEs during uh, MCO change their habits. So once any habit change means we have to be sensitive that uh, people buy things differently post MCO. I mean, they buy right. different way to approach and then they, they will go into different channels. And I also know, if, I think you must also notice if you go to uh, uh, mart or supermarket, you notice that uh, uh, there are things that uh, no longer uh, available uh, on the shelf. Yeah. But it's available in small mart or in other places or the areas. That shows that the shift or change of uh, the way uh, the consumer behave. 
So this is where SMEs need to, or even especially FMB, need to be attentive because consumer have changed the way they do things. There would be a scenario where they just like they want to something like DIY. Hello, Jasmine. Sorry, I was uh, disconnected for a while. Shall we continue? Yes, yeah, sorry, Jasmine. I, so um, I think I lost you at um, you were saying um, this. Uh, we we were, were talking of post MCO. Yeah, post post MCO. Uh, the key thing during uh, post MCO uh, for FMBs or uh, FMB market especially the sector in general, uh, I would say uh, uh, habit change, the consumer habit change. So once there is a consumer habit change, this is where uh, SMEs or uh, FMB especially would have to look at seriously uh, or be sensitive uh, what's coming. Uh, when there is a change of habit, one example, we could look at the simplest possible is people no longer buy to eat in. So they might buy to uh, just, uh, they buy and take away, uh, and the uh, when people used to home cooking or in their homes, so they might switch into a DIY kind of thing. So this is where we have to be sensitive, looking at the trend post uh, post uh, MCO. Uh, at the same time, uh, we need to FMBs also need to be aware that. Uh, Things no longer as usual post MCO. Uh, for example, if you used to sell a hundred packs uh, a day, uh, you might not sell hundred pack a day. You need you may because uh, there there will be three scenario. Your uh, your your clients uh, have a fear to come out and have a fear uh, to line up and have a fear. Uh, even to go to your 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 outlets. So this is one scenario where how how to address that fear. I think delivery or something like that you might look at. Two, uh, uh, there is no I mean uh, clients that don't have fear, but the business require momentum. Uh, means it's not like business as usual the next day. So you right. have to bring back that. Uh, uh, for example, like selling goreng pisang. So goreng pisang would be a different scenario because once you start goreng pisang, everybody will go for goreng pisang. Uh, but again, the fear to have social distance or this thing you need to address. Uh, but if you're telling uh, uh, like, uh, things like uh, that require momentum, uh, especially uh, in the clothing line or textile, uh, you will not be saying uh, people come up to buy uh, your 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 garments or things. I mean, their garment all these things. But it will take momentum for them to build their confidence and then go uh, uh, more. But uh, but the key uh, change here is people start to switch from brick and mortar into online uh, using platforms. So this is something that every business must look at and then the, and offer a product. Uh, uh, product uh, uh, offering uh, based on uh, what they, I mean, uh, creatively uh, uh, looking at uh, the new trends or the new interesting propositions for buyers uh, in this different or uh, in this shift of, uh, uh, I would say, shift of uh, uh, market market channels. And would this moment? Um, be very very long that we can. It's probably going to be time um, speaking. Well. Okay, I think it uh, depends on the industry. Uh, industries that uh, there are industries that will take uh, time. Uh, for example, like uh, hotel tourism, uh, you need to address the fear. Uh, airlines, you need to address the fear first. Uh, but then some industries uh, uh, may, uh, may take. Uh, I mean, if you're in pharmacy, if you're in uh, uh, this uh, medicals, definitely uh, people will come. I mean, your, your business will be good. Uh, but again, uh, with the low rise in uh, oil and gas, 
So I mean, so oil and gas will be they will be in between. Uh, depends on the price of uh, uh, oil, uh, and means that if when when issues with oil and gas is there, the whole downstream of oil and gas activities will also be uh, an issue. Uh, might be good for up, uh, downstream, uh, not good in upstream uh, for oil and gas or energy sector. Uh, we also uh, looking at uh, actually uh, we monitoring uh, uh, the development uh, now. From uh, we also looking at uh, uh, and and we we also seek for inputs uh, to SME Corp as we gathering all these uh, inputs uh, and for us to uh, analyze and put forward to the. Uh, economic uh, action councils and also to the ministries and all related committees. So that's why from time to time we uh, survey uh, just to gauge the scenario, the, the scenario to get uh, what, what we need is the real data from the ground because data that we used to use or we used to have uh, 2019 or last even last January is no longer valid data. So the, the data that we need now is the recent data so that we're able to make decision uh, right. Uh, so uh, this is why we keep doing survey. Uh, I think we already, right. uh, I mean, we already uh, taking uh, significant uh, numbers of re uh, respondents uh, and, and there will be more data that uh, we'll be working uh, on to get from the SMEs. And, uh, apart from SMEs, we're also looking at uh, the trend in uh, uh, unemployment. Uh, uh, we know uh, uh, SMEs are affected. And we try to minimize impact to SMEs uh, through package. Uh, uh, and and we, uh, we hope that, uh, that the more data that we get as we go along, uh, moving post uh, MCOs and uh, we'll be able to get that real life data so that uh, things can be done uh, in decision making uh, effectively. So uh, that's why during this period, um, yeah, okay. Uh, this is where during this period, uh, all stakeholders, because we know that the country at war with something that we cannot see. So this is where everybody need to play a role. Uh, the government need to play a role the SMEs need to play a role and also the uh, employee also need to play SME, a role. SME, uh, business or e-commerce company. Yes. Uh, in in uh, FMB, for example, uh, this is where uh, we know the issue with SMEs, uh, I mean FMBs, uh, one is rental. So this is where uh, 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 even the prime minister calling for it uh, also, uh, the landlord to play their role uh, to assist uh, uh, SMEs uh, in this hard time, and and uh, by having that uh, by having that role, we we want uh, landlord or building owners to assist so that SMEs could hang on until the economy recover. I mean, things back to normal. This is where require. Uh, uh, intervention or assistance uh, from the landlord as well. That's why the uh, we trying. Uh, I mean, putting moratorium uh, in a way would put an ease to the uh, building owners, and for building owners to translate or transmit that uh, to the uh, SMEs uh, when it comes to rental. Uh, uh, also. Uh, Apart from the landlord, yes, uh, the government also uh, giving this uh, uh, discounts on electricity uh, and uh, and and few other measures uh, to uh, to assist SMEs when it comes to uh, giving uh, uh, paying commitments. Uh, but we also like to see for 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 example like FMB uh, between the uh, the workers and also the business owners. To have a good understanding, or to have to have a good uh, 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 to have a good a compromise uh, compromise point, uh, because uh, uh, 
we 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 like to see if if possible uh, not just in mean, the government injecting uh, the the em- the employers uh, putting money but we hope to see if employees also looking at having uh, uh, to agree to have a re- uh, reduction uh, reduction in uh, or to have a small pay cut uh, to ease the burden of the uh, employer uh, and and uh, uh, and this is where uh, with moratorium for six months actually uh, remove the the cost for employees uh, when it comes to rental their home rentals on those things which we hope that the landlord play a role as well so otherwise we have a jam in the uh, the, the system somewhere so so uh, we hope to have that uh, i call it a compromise point where everybody compromise uh, know that this is uh, unprecedented. We not plan for this. Uh, we supposed to have a good year, but we didn't. At the end, uh, we uh, COVID nineteen uh, come around, and then uh, we have to address COVID nineteen first. And with yep. the addressing of COVID nineteen, uh, we have to undergo this uh, MCO, and then undergoing this MCO is not everybody want it, but uh, we have to do it. So this is where the compromise point. Everybody have to play a role. In a way, is contributing to the nation. So. So, uh, uh, as uh, as an employee, as an uh, employer uh, or SMEs, and also as the government, uh, we we need to to have this understanding uh, and and I mean mutual understanding, uh, mutual uh, uh, mutual uh, I would say uh, contribution. I mean everybody's contribute uh, toward this. We we want to uh, sustain our economy so that we not collapse while we're going through these hardships. So it's no point to have one party only bearing this uh, hardship, but everybody have to share. This is where we, we, we hope uh, everybody would, would play that uh, or take their cut uh, in addressing this. What, what furthermore, uh, that, uh, from your point of view, that uh, companies can, or SMEs can actually expect uh, what what are what is going to be in the upcoming stimulus package? Um, I I will not be able to explain the detail because it's totally with uh, the Ministry of Finance. Uh, but uh, I can say that all uh, uh, complaints or all uh, ideas uh, by the uh, uh, associations and also individuals earlier already been forwarded, and it, it's to the knowledge of. Uh, Ministry of Finance and also the Ministry of Economic uh, Affairs. Uh, I would say they will make uh, their decision based not uh, not based on uh, one way kind of things, but after receiving uh, most uh, much feedback from from the ground. How can uh, SMEs or companies like us also further participate in your? upcoming surveys or current ongoing surveys? Yes, uh, the, we will release our surveys uh, through uh, through associations. Uh, we will distribute through associations. We will, we will distribute through our telegrams. We have a telegram, SME Corp Malaysia. So we'll distribute to that. Uh, I would also distribute that uh, surveys through my LinkedIn page and, uh, and also through my uh, uh, Facebook. So uh, and so do our state office. They will distribute that uh, questionnaires. Uh, so you just hope to get feedback from the ground, real feedback from the ground, so that we will be able to uh, make our chat. Because next is supposed to chat how we're going to recover uh, post uh, MCO. So. One, one of these very important things that we see from the previous uh, stimulus package is that um, we, uh, our government is uh, getting the banks to also get ready a lot of uh, low interest loans uh, for this period of time uh, for a lot of businesses to apply. Uh, my question is, uh, is the amount enough? The second thing is, should the business really consider taking up the loan? Okay. Uh, I think uh, the amount, uh, different loan uh, addressing different uh, target groups uh, and also uh, that, that's the initial amount that being put forward. 
so this is where the feedback is important. Uh, we want uh, the ministry uh, through feedbacks. We looking at or uh, uh, we gathering informations. Uh, one is we looking at the delivery system itself. Uh, where's the hiccup? Uh, where's the the problem? So that we will address. We will pick it up and address it uh, directly to relevant authorities or uh, agencies that are doing it. Uh, delivery system. Two is from that monitoring, we were able to know uh, which one or which segment or which area that gaining more or requesting uh, that require more assistance. So this is where, uh, uh, unlike uh, uh, package or stimulus program uh, earlier, uh, this is more, uh, we need to make it more agile and uh, more responsive and dynamics uh, uh, compared to before. Okay. So, um, is there is there um, is there anything else a SME business, F and B business can uh, can tap on? Is there any other government initiative uh, that uh, SMEs and uh, businesses could tap on? Say through SME Corp, uh, uh, other programs that is available other than financing facilities. Okay, uh, through SME Corp, uh, this year, uh, I think we are uh, ongoing now. Uh, we open for a proposal on uh, for submission for SME BISAP. Uh, SME BISAP is a is a grant uh, uh, matching grants uh, to SMEs. Uh, we encourage SMEs uh, uh, to automate uh, their business. Uh, for example, like. Uh, uh, even if they want to do uh, uh, the uh, ERP systems or uh, doing uh, their integrated uh, uh, POS systems, so we, we also uh, open open for that kind of uh, submission. So uh, go to our either our telegrams or our website. Uh, information on on uh, SME Bizarre is there. Uh, we also now running uh, a program on uh, SME masterclass. This is for SMEs, uh, CEOs that want to undertake uh, business, uh, 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 want to attend uh, class at universities. So uh, they only need to pay commitment fees of, if I'm not mistaken, uh, three thousand. Uh, upon completion of that three months uh, class, if there is no uh, I mean, if they attend all the class, we will return back the the the, the commitment fees. So certificate from that particular university that we collaborate with. So for this, uh, for this during uh, uh, this MCO, MCO period, and uh, you know after after this thing, we're expecting maybe within the next two weeks we're gonna um MCO, but there is also a potential that this thing is gonna get prolong a little bit or maybe um, to, to have uh, very serious and constant. This is kind of like the sentiment that we see in the market. So for a lot of all these uh, programs that is going on uh, right now for the businesses, how can change the way of in on or is it to the premises side? Yeah, you mean program with SME Corp? How are we going to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, we have to, yep, yep. Uh, I mean, as uh, as, as mentioned uh, by the DG of uh, Health, uh, try uh, we work along uh, looking, re look at our programs, uh, how we could uh, uh, have a minimum number of uh, uh, programs uh, with uh, open programs uh, with um, people. So, so that that be uh, that be a change uh, in approach that the way we do things. And uh, definitely, digitalization uh, approach is the way to go. And we're also looking at that uh, approach as well uh, in delivering our programs or in uh, in our what we want to do. Yeah. All right, then. I think uh, that's all from uh, me in my my questions. Uh, so uh, one last thing, Anji asked me if there is one advice that you're gonna give to all our SME businesses, FMB businesses out there. What will be that advice? Uh, from you. Okay. Uh, first, uh, 
uh, help in the uh, the war against uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, help to make sure that we don't have to uh, we, ha we have to uh, win this war the shortest time possible. Uh, campaign to to staff family members that uh, stay indoors, uh, stay at home, and then abide by the uh, rules or what the authority requested. Uh, prepare ahead. Uh, the business own SOP. Uh, how to handle clients uh, in the uh, with uh, COVID-19 in mind. So business uh, best, you could, you could have a systems where how your uh, clients would queue, the one meter social distance, and then uh, uh, having uh, this uh, sanitizer available, uh, and then the uh, protocol to all the staff uh, taking care of uh, uh, self hygiene and also self uh, sanitizing uh, in, in in operations. So uh, this will be the new standard practice that consumer would feel comfortable with. So uh, avoid uh, congestions in at counters. So all this can be done uh, or planned uh, in your uh, your operation. So so that would be I would say the new standard for. Uh, consumer uh, post uh, uh, MCO. Right, right. Thank you very much, uh, Anche Azmi, for joining us uh, this morning and uh, sharing your insights for how our SME, uh, FMB, and e commerce business can tap into the economy stimulus package and also offerings from the SME Corps. Uh, at this point of time. So, uh, we hope to speak to you again soon, Anche Azmi. Uh, thank you very much for joining us in this session and for all of us that is looking uh, and watching this session in front of your screen. If you have any question in mind that you wanted to ask uh, specific to Anjay Azmi and his team, remember to type it out in the comments area because Anjay Azmi and his team is going to be selecting and also answering it uh, in the comment sections. So once again, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see our session. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye.